Hello and welcome to Shared Library. In this video, we will cover finding articles using OneSearch. Let's get started. First, you'll want to get to the library website. The quickest way to do this is to type libraries.etsu.edu into your search bar and bookmark the page. You can also access the library website through D2L or the ETSU website. OneSearch is the default option when we come to the library page. If you're exploring some of our other features, such as databases or research guides, then make sure you click back on the OneSearch before starting. We can do a quick search in the search bar here or an advanced search down below. We'll be covering both in this tutorial. First, we'll do a quick search. For this example, we're going to say our topic is biodiversity in the Appalachians. That's a pretty broad topic, so we should get a good amount of results to work with. In the quick search, type in biodiversity and Appalachia. Then hit the enter key or the blue search button. You'll notice as the results load that we have filters to the right, all of the results here in the middle, and an option to sign in at the top in the yellow bar. Be sure to sign in now so you can get access to all the information later on. To sign in, just use your ETSU credentials. You'll note at the top right is an option to do the advanced search. And now we are searching in everything. So the top result is a dissertation, um, the effects of elevation on foraging behavior of bats in Southern Appalachia. That's pretty interesting. Um, we also have some books, articles, and things. It looks like most of what we have available are articles. So let's look at those filters. Here we have availability on the right. So usually, um, not always, but often, you're going to want to click on peer reviewed journals. This means that the article has gone through a peer review process. So it's um, been edited by people who are experts in the field. And this is often what you're gonna be using for your papers. You can also click on available online if you're kind of in a rush. Um, that way it's something that you can access easily. However, I usually suggest that folks do not click on this if they have a little bit of time because you can always get things through interlibrary loan, which we'll also cover here in a moment. So I am gonna go ahead and click on peer reviewed journals. I'm going to go ahead and leave the creation date open-ended. Oftentimes you'll probably wanna narrow this down. It really depends on the topic that you're researching and the discipline you're researching in. So for the humanities, sometimes um, a larger date range is good. Um, whereas if you're looking in the health sciences, you're often gonna to want to have something within like three to five years, but it really depends on your project. Uh, under material, we can look at articles. So that is the bulk of what we have available under this topic. We can also see book chapters, reviews, reports, stuff like that. Uh, the subjects are very interesting. A lot of times um, I do not filter by subject unless I am being very specific. So if I had more than a thousand or like 1700 results, I might choose to narrow by subject. However, this is a very manageable number. So we're gonna leave that alone but it could inform for future searches that I use. So I could do like ecology and Appalachia, something like that. It really depends on what you're going. We can look at authors. So if you notice that there is a certain individual who has a lot of publications uh, in a certain field, that might be somebody that you might want to follow or read more about. Collections. Within the library, one of the reasons why we refer to this search as one search is because it combines all of the information that we have from every one of our databases, then kind of does its best to organize them into a search. You'll note that ProQuest Central has a lot of articles related to this topic. Um, it might be a good idea to go into ProQuest Central and use similar 
search terms to see what comes up on our topic. We also have language and journal titles. So if you're having a lot of trouble finding a source on a particular topic, then going into journal titles, sometimes they have like special editions and stuff like that that you can use that kind of give you an idea of what subjects to look for. I'm gonna go ahead and leave most of this blank. I think I will just do peer reviewed journals and see what goes up. By filtering for peer reviewed journals only, we narrowed it down to about 851 results. This is where we kind of want to go a little bit more into depth on the OneSearch features. Say this is something that I'm going to be looking at for a while or I have to go to class or something. I can always save this query and either turn on notifications so that it will um, notify me whenever there are similar items. But under this pin here at the top right of the page, we can look at all of the queries we've saved. If I wanted to, I could also pin any of the articles and you'll note that the little orange pin up there moves to the far right. We'll also look at the creation date. So by filtering for peer reviewed journals only, it's kind of narrowed down the creation date a little bit. So that's something to uh, look for as well. Gonna go ahead and choose one of these articles. By clicking on the title, it's going to bring us to the catalog record or detail page. So on this page, you will find the article, author, whether or not it's peer reviewed and access options. We'll look at a little bit more here in a minute, but I want to show you one that is currently available. On this page, we can send it to our various citation management software. So like Mendeley or EasyBib, or we can save the permalink or click the citation option here. So if you click on the little quotation mark under send to, it will provide the citation. If you are not familiar with how to check citations, I suggest that you look at our writing and citation tools options. Um, and our guides, because you do want to double check these. They are, you know, um, sometimes there might be a stray comment. It's always something that we want to look out for. Either way, you can choose various citation styles and then just copy that to your clipboard, paste it into whichever word processing software you're using. A lot of the articles that we saw in the search that came up are available for uh, media access. So view online by clicking one of these links here, one of the database links, it's going to send us directly to the article. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that Wiley Online Library to make sure it opens in a new tab. Now, if you haven't logged in recently, or if you didn't do the sign in like we did at the beginning of the video, you may be asked to sign in. Just use your ETSU credentials and you'll be able to get access. Wiley has options for PDF here at the top, and then we have a brief summary and then some recommended as well. You may have noticed, I'm gonna go ahead and close this, that the catalog page had related readings also. You do want to double check on these because even though I filtered for peer reviewed and if I had done any other filters, this article, the effects of mountaintop rem removal will pay attention to those filters, but the ones on the related reading do not. So they are basing the suggestions off of our subjects here. These are all things that you can incorporate into your later searches. You also want to double check and read the description. We also have identifiers. So the ISSN is kind of like a serial number. And then we also have the EISSN, which uh, may indicate that there is a print option as well as an E option for this. If we look at our citation style, We'll notice that there is page number as well as a DOI link. So that is kind of another indicator that there are two options for accessing this particular journal. Okay, so now I'm going to look into the advanced search. I'm gonna say that I really like this first article here and I'm going to type in Appalachia 
land use, and coal mining. Here on the advanced search, there are a few options that we can look at. We can look at any field, so we could do title, author, subject. I'm gonna go ahead and say my subject is Appalachia. And then I'm going to say any field can contain land use and coal mining. As far as materials go, I'm thinking that I kind of want books or articles, but I'm looking for maybe anything. Like it might be interesting if I can find a video or some news items on the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it to all items, any language. And I want to look kind of more recently. So I'm going to do 2010 to 2022. Instead of typing and like we did in the quick search, the advanced search is doing that for us. If I wanted to, I could do or and not. Say for instance, I wanted to do land use or land rights, and then I could do maybe coal mining, not natural gas or something like that. These are kind of ways that you can build your search. But again, with only like 1700 results from our first search, I don't really want to narrow it down that much. The first article that we tagged is still available here. We also have some book reviews. The newspaper search has popped up. We'll also note that it kind of gives an overview of what we searched here. Now, if we wanted to start a new topic, we would just go to the top left, click new search. It will take us back to the main OneSearch page. You'll notice the new book section and we're ready to go. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you need further assistance, please contact us using the Get Help.